Welcome to Discover Ramona, where we explore the people, places, and businesses that make it the best place to live. I'm your host, Valley, and I'm here with my co-host, Jan Ryan. Hi, Welcome. Val. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to be here. I bet you're excited about your up and coming. I've got my annual yard sale coming up. That's right. I am super excited about that. Um, I've been doing it every year for 30 years. Yeah, it's amazing. 30 years. That's and a long it, time. It is. And we usually get 70 to 100 houses all at separate locations. So it's April 27th, okay. Saturday, starting at 7 a.m. until everybody's done, which is usually around 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. But it's really fun. A lot of people, kids get together, they'll do a bake sale, a lemonade stand. Aww. And um, again, whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Mm -hmm. I mean, from bikes to sporting equipment to clothing to yeah. baby stuff. Um, Antiques, it's there. probably. Antiques. How does a homeowner get into that? How do they like let you know they want to be a part of it? Yeah, just let me know. Buy, and this is for San Diego Country Estates. It's okay. one area to keep it a little bit more central. Mm -hmm. So just give me a call, email, text, email janremaxdirect at gmail.com mm -hmm. or on Facebook and make sure I confirm that I have your address. Okay. And then you'll be getting um, a yard sale sign and on the list it'll be published in the local paper and I do a ton of advertising. Yeah, and it's right before spring cleaning so it's a great idea, you know? Exactly, right? Out right. with the old, in with the new and get your home ready to just for that bright sunny San Diego to show back up. Exactly, right after you pay your taxes, <laughs> get your money back. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Okay, Jan, so we have a new guest today. Can you tell us who you brought? Yeah, I brought Jessica Tan today from the owner of Marinade with her husband, and she is amazing. If you, I'm sure you've been there, but if you haven't, you have to go. All right, let's meet her. Hi, Jessica. You are owner of Marinade on Main. Hi. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. What are you, what are you holding? Yeah, so this is one of my favorite salads. We have two different versions depending on the season. This is kind of more of our winter Ooh. version. Mm -hmm. This is a chicken Waldorf salad with my famous fried chicken on it's it. It's the best. Good. Yeah, I definitely try to Ooh, prepare it me? special okay. for you. Oh, wait, I want that. No. <laughs> Ooh, cranberries. And then, Jan, I brought your favorite, so a grilled good. cheese oh, and tomato it. best soup. Oh, thank so. you so much. Yeah, of tear course. This up. Wow. I'm going to enjoy try this. You're going to have to share that. I, I need a fork because I really want to get in there. <laughs> the, can, um, I gotta is these walnuts? Do they look, they look like they have uh, sugar. Mm. Yeah, so we candy the walnuts. We do a cranberry. It's kind of like a version mm. of a Waldorf salad, but mm. we kind of make it our style with a homemade blue Can. cheese dressing. Got in it. It's so good. Is that cheese? <laughs> She puts all the special cheese in here. Yeah, too. so it's a Caprese grilled cheese sandwich. Mm. So it has fresh mozzarella, basil, mm, and um, tomatoes. Mm. Yeah, and then we parm crust it. You are so, so good. sweet in bringing this. Thank you. Of course. I'm, I'm never going to turn down a meal. <laughs> we know this, right? <laughs> well, definitely one not to be missed. One of my absolute favorites. Aw, thank you. Yeah, I've heard such amazing things about marinade on Maine. More importantly, before we get to that, I want to learn a little bit about you. I know we got to talk before that you have you have three kids. Yes. Um, so you're a working mom, yes. which is like just like us. It's yeah. you know we <laughs> definitely relate to that. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. Yeah. So um, I went to culinary school back in Las Vegas, and I worked for some high-end um, chefs out in there, and um, I. Um, realized very quickly that I did not want to work in such a bustly town that was um, super, um, you know, I wanted kind of more small town. So that's why we, I moved back to uh, San Diego County. Mm, awesome. And then your family, you, you raise your kids out in Ramona. It's just like something that is that like by choice you really wanted them to grow up in a small community like that? Yeah, I love Ramona. I mean, my brother lived out there um, whenever I was living in Las Vegas and I would go visit him often. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like Ramona is so special. The community, the people, um, it's a, a really wonderful place to raise kids and also um, be a part of a community. Yeah, it is. I mean, we talk about the community all the time here. And I know, like it's it's amazing the kids, the things that the kids get to experience there versus growing up in a big city like you said. Yeah, 
And it's so great to have you and Ramona. I feel so honored. Oh, thank it's you. It's amazing. Her background, yeah, the, with Cordon Bleu, is that the yep, school you went to? Yep, that's the culinary school I went to, yeah. 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 No other than. All right, well, tell us a little bit about Marinade on Main. Um, what got you guys started there? You know, kind of what's your inspiration, passion, mission, all of that? Yeah, so um, my grandma and my, my mom is from Alabama. So we kind of do like comfort soul food mm -hmm. with a southern twist. Um, and I, I generally um, get what's in season. So mm -hmm. whatever is seasonal is what we put on our menu. Um, our menu changes four times a year. So it is something like if you've come in the springtime, you may or may not get the same mm -hmm. menu as you would in the summer, fall, or winter. Mm -hmm. um, and we really just wanted to bring a restaurant to Ramona that was very community oriented. So how we designed the restaurant was we actually took out the partitions which were in the building when we first rented it. And um, we blew all those out and kind of built the booths to be like open and community oriented, mm -hmm. which is so cool because actually if you sit back and watch the guests, they will be sitting in tables next to each other and, and booths and suddenly you know i've seen guests um, become best friends because they were mm -hmm. you know sitting next to each other in yeah. the restaurant that's, that's right. so that's true smart. yeah i didn't realize you were doing that on purpose but yeah it, it does <laughs> yeah it is so great and so it's kind of like a family atmosphere then right can you tell us a little bit about like the building the design and the atmosphere in inside yeah so we kind of try to do um our theme would be more um you know country rustic mm -hmm. um we also didn't have a lot of money at the time. <laughs> so we used a lot of pallet woods. Mm -hmm. We sawzod actually um, pallets from local Ramona's, you know, mm -hmm. people like the feed store. And um, we went to them and said, hey, can we have your pallets? Mm -hmm. And so we sawzod all of them and we actually decorated the ceiling with yeah. them. We made the tables with them. Um, our designer, uh, Joyce Peterson, um, I felt did a really amazing job um, just helping us with his inspiration. You should see it. It's gorgeous inside what they've done. <laughs> it, it is just beautiful. Thank you. And I've heard raving reviews from people that work here that you make really good Brussels sprouts too. <laughs> <laughs> we do. That is one thing that we won't take off the menu because I feel like the town would have a mutiny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you don't just own and operate the business. You're back there cooking too. Yeah. So you do it all. Yeah. Yeah. I actually started with the vision of opening the restaurant and being the chef. Mm -hmm. and literally just being in the back and cooking. But what I've realized now being an owner for eight years is it's not just that you can have amazing food. You have to um, have amazing customer service and making sure that every single guest um, comes through the door and just gets to take a breath from their life mm -hmm. and enjoy an amazing meal without, you know, and having a great mm -hmm. experience. Yeah. And they do a great job with that. Everyone that works there, you, you do get that feeling. Yeah. We're so lucky and blessed because our team is phenomenal. We really have such an amazing team. Mm -hmm. And like your servers and hosts and things like that? Yeah. Yeah. Servers, hosts, dishwashers. Oh, really? Every yeah. um, aspect of our um, team is really important. Um, that's what I tell everyone that comes and works for me is that you know, the dishwasher's position is just as important as the head chef position. Mm -hmm. So we all work together as a team. And what you did tell me is you collaborate with the other chefs on some of the menu items. Oh yeah, our whole team. Um, some of our line cups have put menu items on our menu. That's yeah. really cool. What's one of your favorite dishes, not just to eat, but to make? Oh, oh, that's a good one. Um, so I love our um, biscuits. Okay. Um, for we home make biscuits of course. you know whenever I was um, younger my grandma would teach me she grew up in the Great Depression so okay. she would have the tin cans that she would save mm -hmm. and the biscuit had to be cut perfectly round mm -hmm. and if it wasn't round we were in trouble oh. <laughs> yeah. but now I roll them out on big sheet trays and cut them in big squares mm -hmm. which she would probably turn over in her grave <laughs> <laughs> but um, they're a good sized biscuit, right? Oh yeah. They're, and you know what I love too is, I talked to you about some of your menu items and each one you went into the whole process of how, like the chicken for instance, I knew it was good, 
but when you enlighten me on how you make it. Yeah, so I rosemary lemon brine it for 24 hours, then we butcher it, we sous vide it, and then we flash fry it. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, I feel like the, the quality is so good that um, it really shines through to our guests. Well, I'm gonna eat it uh, all the way up I'm after gonna this. Take a bite. <laughs> and everything, every dish that you make, I mean, there's a special process. Yeah, our team really puts a lot of love and care into every dish. And um, we try to make sure that every guest is super happy whenever they eat at our restaurant. Well, I think being a daughter of someone from the South, I think that it's really important. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a, like, you get a badge of honor when you can make a good biscuit. Yes. Right? Totally. Like, <laughs> like who, what is your worth if you can't make a good biscuit, if they're too crumbly, right. you know, if they don't cook all the way through, there's like, it's, Jan, it's like a, th it's like a it's real a thing. thing down yeah. there. It's like you thing. have, if you can't cook a biscuit, you're not from the South. That's uh -oh. what it is. That's, it's I better true. Learn. You have to teach me. <laughs> I can't cook a biscuit. Okay, I'll, let's do it. I'll admit. Cooking but day. I do, I did understand there is that, that can thing where you have to like shape it the proper way. Yes. I learned that too. I just didn't learn everything. I didn't, yeah. I didn't <laughs> heed to it. So um, as far as like being in Ramona and, your com and, and picking your location, when you guys decided to open up, that's like a big leap. Yeah. Yeah, what it was, was that a process huge, like? It was, it was a huge process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, every day was a learning experience and just trying to um, accommodate, um, you know, the design review board, the county, um, a lot of different codes that I actually didn't know, mm -hmm. um, but kind of learned. Um, my father is an engineer and he's phenomenal on so many levels. Mm -hmm. And so um, he kind of helped um, walk my husband and I through kind of some of the things that we didn't understand. Um, but yeah, it, from start to finish, it took us almost a year and a half to almost two years to open. That's, that's, that's amazing. Isn't that it's crazy? It we did a change like use though which yeah. is different than, mm -hmm. you know, if the building had already been a restaurant. Do you feel like your restaurant is where you want it to be and you just want to keep it rolling or do you have further aspirations? So we actually do catering. Um, we branched out in 2020 um, and started doing catering. Mm -hmm. So I actually am off site probably to 15 to 18 days out of the month mm -hmm. really? doing catering. Oh, wow. um, and um, it could be anywhere from a wedding to a baby shower mm. um, or to like Ramona Elementary School. Mm. Oh, cute. Yeah. I didn't know you were doing that much catering. That's great. Yeah. So um, we definitely have expanded that way. Um, we also visit a lot of the local wineries mm -hmm. and do catering there or like some of their VIP events, mm -hmm. that type of thing. And our restaurant also supports a lot of local wineries. Mm -hmm. um, on Wednesdays, we actually have if you bring your own local bottle of wine, um, we waive the corkage fee. Oh, wow. Yeah, just to support the local wineries yeah. in the area. And I'm obsessed with their food. I'm sorry, I am obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> their meatloaf. We go in and my husband loves your meatloaf. As you know, he'll call in, do you have the meatloaf today? Yeah. And I just found out, now you have another one, so we have to try both, right? Yeah, a different type uh, of meatloaf. Uh, now they have two different types and they're going to oh be gosh. see which one is the best. Yeah, Here, Jeff could be the judge. He'll be the judge. Yeah. And the pork chops. <laughs> you were telling me how amazing they are and how you make those. Yes, too. I love our pork chops. Um, I feel like the pork chop is one of the most underrated things on our menu, mm -hmm. um, but every single person that orders it is like, wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whenever they just thinking they're gonna get um, a simple pork chop. Do, do a lot of people like make pork chops at home on their own? Because I know like I grew up eating pork chops. So to me, it's like, I would absolutely order a pork chop at your, at your restaurant. But you know, it's like maybe they just don't get a pork chop very often. Yeah, you or know? maybe they cook it dry. Uh, yeah, possibly. Yeah. Probably. Don't know how. <laughs> not, a, not a lot of us have a chef background. <laughs> we just wing it and try our best. But yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm definitely obviously going to show up to your restaurant. I thank you so much for bringing food in for us today. I'm excited to try it. Yeah, I definitely get your healthy salad, but then I've got to add the chicken on top. And I right. eat all the chicken and I save the calories. It's chicken in the is salad. healthy. Yeah, it's healthy. <laughs> I, I feel like life is a balance, you know? Yeah. You have to have a little bit of fried chicken. Oh, and the chicken. ganache chocolate cake. We have to go there. Oh, that yes. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, our chocolate ganache cake is three layers with a ganache layer in between each layer. 
And yeah, your husband sneaks in often to yeah, have it. He doesn't <laughs> tell me. Don't, he tells you, don't tell my wife I was in here. Right. <laughs> and she brought us a cheesecake today. So I can't wait. Yeah, so our, we do a seasonal cheesecake. And right now I've just created a pistachio cheesecake. Uh, this is the first one of the season, so you Wait, guys that's can what try. You brought? Yes. yes. Oh my goodness. Oh man. I'm not giving you I a bite. Dips. I'm not sharing. Yeah. <laughs> and then Trav wanted you guys to have cookies, so we oh have God, oh, dark great. chocolate walnut cookies. Cause he is he the baker? He or he makes yeah, the cake, right? I would or? definitely say that he is definitely the best baker of cookies <laughs> in our <laughs> in our restaurant. He's our cookie monster for sure. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, Adriana does a lot of amazing baking and she is so talented. Oh, so we're great. super lucky to have her on our team. Real quick, how would somebody book you for catering? Yeah, so they would just go on our website, marinadeonmain.com, and then um, there's like an information tab and you can click on there and, and say, you know, inquiry about catering. Awesome, awesome. That's great you're doing that much catering. I had no idea. How yeah. big of events do you do? Oh gosh, um, so it can be anywhere as little as 20. Um, and then we've done weddings up to 250 guests. You oh have, gosh. that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> as a mom though, when you're cooking all day, when you get home and you have to cook for your family, do you, or do you just bring stuff home from the restaurant? Uh, we do a blend of both. Okay. So I cook everything at the restaurant in order to Everything at the restaurant I would cook for my children. Okay. So that kind of, um, cool. yeah, it really does help because we make all of our sauces in house. We don't use preservatives. So all the things that I'm feeding everyone at the restaurant is exactly what I feed my family. Mm, that's, that's that's really that says a sweet. lot. Yeah. yeah. It does. Yeah. It does. So. And, and their food's locally sourced for the most part, as yeah. much as you're able to, which is great. Yeah, it's really cool actually. Um, I just got a text message from Judy, one of the local farms, and she's like, here and she takes a picture of what she's loaded her truck of produce wow, nice. and now it's on the way to the restaurant and so we get to play with that produce today that's Let's really see fun. how great that is yeah it is that just goes back to what ramona's about though yeah it's like businesses supporting businesses people supporting people it's like just a beautiful collective of individuals who want and support ramona I'm glad you're a part of it. And I was looking forward to meeting you. So I'm, I'm glad I finally got to. Yes. Well, you have to come up to the restaurant. And I will. I'll for you. I'm going to finish this and then tell my husband and kids about it and we'll be up there quick. Let me know when. <laughs> okay. Tell you. Okay. All right, Jessica. Well, it was so nice to meet you. And thank you so much for sharing your story and all that you do for Ramona. Looking forward to see how your business grows and develops. Jan, thank you for bringing her. Yep. Jan, um, thank my, you so much. My total pleasure. I really Thanks appreciate it. And thank you. It was so nice to meet you. I, we should thank her for the food she brought yes. us today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching Discover Ramona.